Example two, uh, more of the same again, it's chemical compound formula. Um, this time we got ammonium chloride, which is N nitrogen, H4 hydrogen, 4 atoms of hydrogen, Cl is chlorine. Um, if you don't know what a chemical name is or a chemical symbol is, um, it should be pretty obvious if it isn't. For example, tin is SN, tin. Uh, there's some weird ones out there. And um, W is what? Tungsten. 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 That's weird. Yeah. PB is lead. PB is lead. Gold is AU. Gold AU. We've got no rhyme or reason to the way I'm writing this down. Anyway, but um, there's a lot of weird ones out. If the, if there's a weird one out there, they're going to tell you that. Like if gold shows up a problem, so how much gold AU is in whatever. So they'll, they'll tell you for the weird ones because we're not doing chemistry. This is a chemistry class. We don't have to know what anything means in this class about the chemical forms and everything. But if you happen to know them off the top of your head, that's great. But just know that if a weird one shows up, it's, that's what it is. If it's if it's like hydrogen and it's H or nitrogen N, carbon C, oxygen O, they're going to assume, you'll assume that that's what it is. Okay, so go ahead and make assumptions if it's obvious because they're, they're assuming you're going to make the assumption. All right, so that means in one molecule of ammonium chloride, there's one atom of nitrogen, four atoms of hydrogen, and one atom of chlorine. So again, this sentence here is only there to specifically describe to you what that chemical formula means. If you already know what it means, you can read on past that and get to the guts of the problem, which is how many grams of chlorine are there in 1,060 grams of ammonium chloride? Now, be careful with this. They do this quite often, and it's not, not basic as much as uh, some of the other stuff is, but they'll tell you the form formula for ammonium chloride is this, and it seems pretty, like, tame. It's like, oh, that's just some words. I, I don't want to read words. I want to get straight to this chemical formula and start getting to the guts of the problem, right? But they're naming what this is, and they refer to that thing later, okay? So when it says 1,060 grams of ammonium chloride, 1,060 grams of that thing, all right? It's not NH or Cl, it's actually the NH4 or Cl. So this time we have three atoms going into our molecule, so we have NHCl, and our formula is NH4Cl. Every nitrogen weighs 14, the formula tells me that they have one 1 times 14 is 14 for the molecular weight. Uh, there's four atoms of hydrogen. Each one weighs one, so four times one is four. There's one atom of chlorine. Every one weighs 35. One times 35 is 35. So again, to get these three numbers, I take how many there are times how much it weighs to get how much weight is in the molecule for that specific element. And then we add those up, 14 and 4 is 18, plus 35 is 53. So every molecule of ammonium chloride weighs 53 moles. Then, 1,060 grams of ammonium chloride, that's this. And it says, how many grams of chlorine are there? So chlorine, which one's chlorine? I don't know. N, H, or Cl? Probably Cl. Again, that's the whole, let's assume the obvious one. So how many grams of chlorine? That's what we're looking for. H is hydrogen, N is nitrogen. And then once we get our numbers in the chart, as we should, we get the ratio 35 over 53 is equal to the ratio of X over 1,060. And again, looking to reduce if possible. Just so happens 53 and 1,060 reduced to 20. 20. Right, divides evenly, so 20. If it doesn't divide evenly, use your calculator. 35 times 1,060 divided by 3 equals, it'll spit out the right answer for you. But uh, decimal answers are fine on these. It can happen. But um, I think right now you should expect whole numbers more often than not. So if you're getting a lot of decimals, check your work. If you get an occasional decimal, probably not a big deal. All right. 35 times 20 is 700. 700 grams of chlorine. Now in this case, if it asked for more, like hydrogen or nitrogen, I'd have to actually do another proportion to get one of those before I can start subtracting from the total to get the one, one left over. So um, they usually ask for one at a time, though. They usually don't ask for everything. So uh, just get comfortable with filling the chart correctly. And again, read the first sentence thoroughly to make sure you know what the chemical name is, the, the formula for whatever this is. They usually give you the weight of the overall thing.
But if it says, if the nitrogen weighs this much, how much would the chlorine weigh? Then you put nitrogen and chlorine. So you, you put in whatever you put there. But they usually give you the bottom number, usually. But not always. So read it carefully. Make sure you put things where they belong.